Please click like and subscribe. Shooter targets FL back to school event, didn't realize who else was in crowd. A deranged shooter targeted a back to school event in Florida over the weekend, undoubtedly thinking that the families in attendance were no more than sitting ducks. However, the shooter didn't realize who else was in the crowd when he began to open fire. A back to school event, dubbed Peace in the City, turned violent on Saturday when a gunman opened fire on the crowd of students and their parents. The shooting occurred at Isaac Campbell Park on South Street in Titusville, Florida, shortly after 5.20 p.m. Peace in the city was billed as a day of fun with no violence, but that didn't stop one attendee from opening fire on the crowd after a fistfight broke out. Pay close attention to the part about how the shooting was stopped. An armed bystander shot a man who opened fire on a back-to-school event at a Titusville Park following a fistfight, police said. The shooting occurred at Isaac Campbell Park on South Street shortly after 5.20 p.m. when the shooter, whom police have not identified, returned to the park after a fistfight and began firing. A bystander licensed to carry a firearm then shot the shooter, who was flown to a nearby hospital with life-threatening injuries, police said. The bystander who shot the suspect waited for officers and has been fully cooperative with the investigation, police said. Source, WFTV. Did you catch that? A good guy with a gun stopped a bad guy with a gun from killing untold amounts of innocent people who had gathered to commemorate the beginning of the school year. And that is why you won't see this story widely reported by the mainstream media, even though it certainly warrants attention. Dwight Harvey, who is the father of the event's organizer, was streaming the gathering live on his Facebook page when the shooting occurred. In the video, children and parents can be seen sifting through backpacks stuffed with school supplies under a pavilion at the park when 12 rapid-fire shots ring out. We are extremely grateful that nobody else was injured in this incident, said Deputy Chief Todd Hutchinson, according to the Daily Caller. This suspect opened fire at a crowded public park, this could have been so much worse. Just as the fact that peace in the city was slated to be a day of fun with no violence, and yet a gunman with a hot temper ruined those plans, criminals do not care about the pages and pages of gun laws that well-meaning politicians have put in place to thwart their attacks. Think about it. When was the last time a school shooter saw the gun-free zone sign on a campus and turned right around to go shoot up another facility instead? As evidenced in Titusville, Florida, this weekend, there is simply no better way to stop a bad guy with a gun than with a good guy with a gun. Sure, we have measures in place like FBI tip lines and extensive background check systems, but these things routinely fail. If a madman is intent on committing violence, he or she will find a way. The best defense possible is to even the playing field to allow law-abiding Americans full access to obtain and carry firearms that might very likely save their lives and the lives of those around them. What happened on Saturday could not be a better illustration of that. Ironically, though, gun grabbers marched against the NRA this weekend at the same time as the shooting in Titusville with signs like good guys don't carry guns. Typically, whenever a shooting unfolds, the usual suspects are there in short order to denounce the Second Amendment and all firearms in general. However, don't expect to see the shooting in Titusville widely covered by the liberal media, as it flies in the face of the gun control agenda they have worked very hard to push over the years. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.